What causes constipation? Constipation is a lifestyle disease. It is what we eat, how much we eat, our habits of eating, and, and even how physically active our bodies are. Constipation is caused by eating foods that, have, that lack in fiber. All these processed foods, um, white flour, and all these uh, um, confectionaries and, 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 and biscuits, and all the tasty cakes and muffins and, and, and pastries and cakes are made out of flour which has had its fiber content completely removed. And fiber is necessary for creating good bulky stools that are easy to eliminate. Any foods that are made from um, processed white flour products like white rice and white, um, white flour and, and, and everything that has uh, fiber removed from it, when those food articles get digested down, they become hard and compressed together and they are difficult to eliminate. The stools become thin if they are eliminated and they are hard and therefore many people will now avoid using the restrooms because they struggle when they go there. What else causes constipation is not drinking enough water. The digestive tract needs plenty of water in order for it to function and to be able to move the waste products along and dump them into the rectum where they can now be eliminated. But when they get into the rectum, they, the stools need to be soft. And if there isn't sufficient water to be absorbed into the stools to make them soft enough to get out, then the, food get, the, the, the stools become hard and tight and difficult to eliminate. What else causes uh, constipation is lack of exercise. Lack of exercise causes the, the bowels to be sluggish and to move along sluggishly and slowly. And then it takes time for the waste material to transit along. And as it's taking time, the bowels by nature are designed to reabsorb as much fluid as they can from the, 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 the large intestine. Um, and if we are not having appropriate intake, enough sufficient intake, then by the time the stools arrive in the rectum, they are hard and difficult to eliminate. And therefore what happens is most of us sit on the waste products and then the process of fermentation begins, the reabsorption of toxins, and that is what eventually makes the blood acidic, makes it dirty, as a layman would say, and that is what causes diseases. That is why we say constipation is the mother of all diseases. And if you want to avoid getting sick, pay attention to your bowel movements. Ensure that you eliminate as many times as you eat. And that's why it's important to avoid eating between meals because not everyone has time to eliminate constantly. You see why it works? It helps to eat appropriately at the right time to avoid constipation, to avoid chronic diseases.